Okay, guys. Last tag I'm going to do for now. Um, the other one I was going to do was kind of repetitious, mostly. If you have any additional questions that you don't feel I've answered in these tags, just let me know. I'll be glad to tell you more about me. Okay, so this is a homeschool tag. Why are you homeschooling? I knew before my oldest daughter, who's going to be five in October, was born, that I wanted homeschool. I was one of those people before who thought homeschoolers were crazy, you know, jumpers and ostracizing their children and weird kids. And that was what I think a lot of people think of when they think of homeschooled kids. Um, but then I had a friend who homeschooled. And although I don't necessarily think that she... I hate to say this was really successful with that um, for lots of different reasons that weren't entirely in her control. It really sparked an interest in me and I started reading about it. And when we were in Korea, I met a bunch of homeschool moms. And at the time, there was a possibility that we were going to stay in the military. And when you're in the military, really, I just think homeschool is the way to go. <laughs> because you could potentially, most realistically, you're going to be moving around a lot. And if you want to talk about gaps in education, that's what the Common Core is going to alleviate. We don't want that. Anyhow, um, I do it for religious reasons. Also, I don't like all the um, evolution things in the schools. I don't like that God is not allowed. No prayer. I mean, some girls just got in trouble for saying God bless you. Silly things like that. I just don't appreciate that. Um, I want to raise my children where there's good character, good morals, good values. And when you... It's harder to do that when you can't control their environment. You don't know who their friends are. Not that I'm saying it's all bad, but I like to have that greater sense of control. I want to know what's going on with them for eight hours a day. I love them. I want to be with them. Not that public school parents don't, but I'm selfish. I want to keep them. God gave them to me, not the United States government, not my school system. He gave them to me for me to train, for me to raise, and I take that very seriously. That's what I'm doing. Um, what do my children think of homeschooling? They always tell everybody they go to homeschool. <laughs> they did um, go to preschool for a little while, uh, preschool daycare when we lived in Texas, and I was first enrolled in school there. And they, um, my oldest, she remembers it a little bit, and so she talks about, well, at my school. <laughs> um, and I just think that that's really funny. So anyhow, they, they love it. They enjoy it. Um, some of their friends are now starting to go to kindergarten, but they also have the sitter that comes with her kids, and she's definitely preschooling for at least, um, homeschooling for preschool and probably kindergarten and hopefully beyond, but they're just taking a little bit at a time. So, they have friends on both ends of the spectrum, and I don't really think they're jealous. They talk sometimes about wanting to ride a bus or different things, but we provide a lot of experiences for them. Um, we're out a lot, they do a lot, and I say, well, you know, if you went to school like so-and-so, then, you know, they don't get to do this. Or they got to do that. And they're like, oh, well, I don't like that. So I think they have a really positive view of homeschooling. Um, is my extended family supportive? I'm going to say yes. Sometimes I think they forget we homeschool <laughs> because the kids are little too. And every now and then they'll say something about like, oh, when, you know, when they go to school or, you know, we'll do this in school and... I'm just like, yeah, we do that here at home. Remember, we go to homeschool. <laughs> or, oh, this is what we're doing for homeschool. So, but for the most part, I don't get any flack. Um, my mother-in-law had a negative experience um, with a, another family member that was a homeschooler. They're like 80-year-old grandmother who was homeschooling them. And um, it didn't work out very well. She was just too old and he was too little and it was full of energy. And it was also, you know, like 20 years ago. So it's different now. Totally different world. And um, totally different homeschooling world, thanks to those pioneers who've gone on before us. But um, my dad and my mom are super supportive. My mother-in-law is supportive. My father-in-law is pretty supportive. So my family and everything, my nephews, they ask me a lot of times, so will your kids always go to school at home? Or will they ever go to school? <laughs> and I say, no, they're just going to be here. So that's okay. Um, was I homeschooled? No. Um, I was not at all homeschooled. I, um, I don't want to say I had a bad experience in the public school system. As far as the schooling went, I got a okay education, I guess. I felt confident to take it to my children. Um, but I didn't really enjoy school. Um, I didn't really enjoy the people there. I wouldn't necessarily say I was bullied. I felt like I had a lot of friends, but... I definitely did some things as a teenager in high school that I 
I wish I wouldn't have, that I wish I wouldn't have been exposed to certain kinds of people, that I wish my parents would have. There's a lot of parental neglect on that aspect too. So it's not all about the school, but I just want to, I just want to do different. <laughs> um, I don't mind being different. I know I'm not alone in homeschooling and, um, I like to be myself. So anyhow, um, best advice I've been given or have to give relax, <laughs> relax, especially when they're little, it's okay to play. Learning is play. Relax. There will be help for you. <laughs> I will help you. I tell my friends all the time. I will help you. Let me help you. I share my resources. I um, buy books for my friends. I just encourage them. I think encouragement is super important. Find encouragement. Here online, in a friend, in a homeschool community, somehow. Find encouragement and relax. Relax. It's going to be okay. Um, my favorite thing about homeschooling, I like having the control. I like learning with my kids. I like knowing what they're learning. I love being a part of that. That's what I mean. I, I want to be a part of it. I want to be an active participant in it. I want to say, we're going to do this today. Or we're not going to do this today. We're going to wear pajamas all day. We're going to get dressed up and go here today. I like having that sense of control. I like being active and involved 100% in what's going on. Um, my least favorite thing about homeschooling, I go to school right now. It can be time consuming, but relax. <laughs> They're little. It's okay. Um, I'm getting some things that can help me to where they can be more independent. My oldest can totally 100% read by herself. If she's got supervision, just, hey, do this, she will do that. My youngest needs a little bit more attention, and that's okay. Um, my plan is on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, because Mondays and Wednesdays I don't have to go to school till later. Those are all going to be our school days. Tuesdays, I'm not here. I just, I'm not here all day. <laughs> um, but my friend, I can say, hey, can you read this to them? Hey, can you make sure they do this? And she will totally do that. So, but our official days where I'm going to be involved, and also on the weekends, we do lots of things too. Um, so just trying to figure it all out, I guess, while still remembering to relax. Um, my most annoying comment that I've gotten, um, I guess just, uh, I don't know. I haven't had a whole lot of flack. I've really gotten a lot of support, but, um... Are they always going to do this? I guess. Will they always be home? That's the plan. That's really my plan is to just always keep them here for school until they're ready for college. And even then, I want them to stay home. <laughs> I want them to stay home until they're ready to be married and move out. If you would ask me this like five years ago, it was such a crazy. Get them out of the house. Let them have life experiences. But my views have changed. And they can have plenty of life experiences while they're still here at home with me. Um... Something that has not worked for me. Um, trying to be too structured. I just have so much going on right now. And if it's like I forgot and I just remembered the other day that I had told myself, while you're in school, you're going to use more prepackaged things. And when you're out of school, you'll have more time to go with the flow and just do whatever. But right now... I'm using like, um, for example, we're going to use Matthew C. I'm reading before five in a row books with them and we're just going through the book list. And my goal right now is to read that book and just talk about the activities. I don't even care what's on homeschool share. I've tried printing out a hundred things. I don't have time for that. I don't, I don't have time for that. <laughs> they have plenty of blocks and other activities. We're going to use handwriting without tears. I got the CDs. I got the manipulatives. My kids are very hands on. I want them to be able to play, to build the letters, to write them out. I'm splurging a little bit. I'm still frugal with it. I'm buying them used online from other retailers. Um, but I'm not trying to make everything myself. Homeschooling can be as cheap or as expensive as you want it to be. And I'm trying to find some middle ground. I like quality. I like things that I feel are going to work. That I've... Um, 
witnessed online through other people's reviews, and I feel confident that will work for my kids, and I'm willing to try them. Um, so we're really sticking with handwriting, math, and a ton of reading and field trips when we can, and I feel like for three and four-year-olds, that's fantastic. Um, one thing that has worked for me, relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> remembering that they're just little um leapfrog I'll stick with that if we're talking about a thing leapfrog videos I feel totally irresponsible for my oldest child learning to read and she's highly gifted but I just didn't really have to do much and I was really blessed but she learned so much from those DVDs so I'm trying to incorporate them more with my younger child she can read but she's got a different personality it's I, I can't explain it. She like, I know she can do it. I've seen her do it. But she doesn't really want to. That's, that's kind of where I am with my three-year-old. But she's three, so it's okay. Relax. <laughs> what is my homeschool style? Classical, Charlotte Mason, whatever. I love Charlotte Mason. But one of the very first books I read actually was about unschooling. Because those were my friends that she was doing, and I was like, what are you talking about? It's interesting, and I believe in some of those philosophies, but I can't let control go enough to just willy-nilly let things go. But I definitely see that there is a lot of child letter, um, learning happening in our home. There's a We're learning all the time, all the time. My daughter reads everything she can see. She reads billboards. She reads toothpaste bottles. She reads the notes, the little flyers of the doctor's office. She reads everything. And that's mostly good. So far she hasn't really come across any inappropriate material. And she reads everything. She talks about everything. We were blessed with a microscope from a church friend. And there was a cicada <laughs> stuck in our door. And we looked at its wing. They brought in leaves. And we looked at leaves. And I saw in a homeschool mag catalog some um, slides that are pretty inexpensive. I'm going to order those. They love looking through the microscope. Um, we dissolved candy canes today. <laughs> We um, played tag, freeze tag outside. They were riding their bikes, you know, physical activity. We read several books today. My daughter read some books to me. We read Fancy Nancy. We read like six books in a row or something <laughs> like that. And we read two chapters out of um, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, the sequel to um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We're reading. We're counting. We played with the, um, what is it? Learning wrap-ups, learning palette. My youngest, she really, I don't know, I know she didn't struggle because she was like picking up the colored disc and then telling me which one it went to. And it was the next one in order, like half the time, like but she was taking a long time. It was like she was looking at it. I think she's a perfectionist. Like she wants it to be just right. So it took us a long time. And then Penelope, she did just like two of them. Bam. Right in a row. She would have just kept doing them, but she wanted to do something else. So, um, and that was like our math for today. And we counted a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm eclectic. I think the classical conversations model is cool. I have some audio CDs, but I'm not sure they're going to work for us. So I think I'm going to um, sell them. If you're interested, let me know. I have cycle one and two audio CDs available. Um, I uh, we're just eclectic. Charlotte Mason classical eclectic. I like short lessons, lots of reading, and following what the kid wants to do. I'm sort of getting into a little bit of Montessori activities, just with mostly practical life things, pouring, spooning, and mixing, and measuring, and things like that. Does my spouse help with homeschooling? He is 100% supportive of homeschooling. He was not in the beginning. <laughs> I said, well, babe, they're little. Just let's let roll live with it, you know. Um, and now he wouldn't have it any other way. He's really excited. Um, he tells everybody about it. He's very proud. Um, he comes home and tells me, hey, this guy at work, his wife homeschools. Who wants to know more about homeschool? Homeschool, homeschool. So he's super cool. He's a pipe fitter, and there's opportunity for him to do a lot of traveling. And has said, we could go to Australia. We could travel the country in the summertime. And we could just learn together. And so he's very supportive. He thinks math and science are important. So I expect as they get a little older that um, he might help with that. But if he doesn't, that's okay. His support is really what I need the most. Um, and not to question my purchases a whole lot.
<laughs> so um he is very supportive and he's very happy and proud and thankful and just 100% on board with homeschooling now and gets other people to try to get on board with homeschooling and I think it's great so um Oh, I hope you learned a lot about us and how and why we do our homeschool stuff. And I know I've shared a lot of book hauls, and I'll have more of those. And I'm not hip on my kids being online. I mean, in, like, their images. <laughs> I don't post pictures of them on my Facebook. I you'll probably never see a video of them on here, just so you know. Um, I like to protect their cute little anonymity. But I would like to do some reviews for you guys, do some videos talking about how we do things, how things are going, what's working for us, but we'll just see. I've spent like 30 minutes doing this and I should probably really be washing the dishes and watching a video and not making my own. So um, have a good day, whatever it is time where you are, and thanks so much for watching and please comment, like, let me know what's going on.